we have some good stuff today doing some La Loon's Hound Hall 9 attacks. Now, I bring this to you. Keep in mind, Kazakhstan here, we think they were modders uh, because um, of how they uh, went about doing it. Um, just how it is. Anyways, keep that in mind. So these attacks were probably practiced a whole bunch. Who knows what's going on? Anyways, but still impressive. So the very first one, I'm going to speed it up. The, the goal here, obviously, is queen walking. These are queen walk La Luna attacks. This is um, a strategy maybe you haven't used before, but the goal is to take down air defenses. Obviously, you're going to take down air defenses. Now, look at this attack. I mean, the king... Uh, did terrible. I don't know what that placement was. Um, that was a bad, bad placement for sure. Here comes the uh, air portion of the attack. You always put two air defense, uh, two uh, hounds on the first air defense, and then you trickle in some loons, um, working in a counterclockwise kind of fashion. Obviously, the goal is to take out um the uh, uh units with the loons and of course the hounds are providing defense at that this was total mayhem total destruction and if you can get down some of especially one air defense but if you can get down two air defenses with the queen walk very huge very important to do what you need to do that you can use jump spells or wall breakers to get the queen inside now with a lot of these uh, bases at the town hall 9 level they're so spread out these days the air defenses are actually pretty vulnerable um, which is actually good for this air attack because not many people use air attacks um, even um, is, is very rare so I really like this idea with the queen walk because the queen walk can take down um, preferably take down the enemy queen um, and especially that clan castle before the air portion of the raid comes in. Uh, so in some of these attacks actually the uh, queen was not taken down I believe but you can tell here took down two air defenses and once the second air defense is down then the air portion comes and again you want to uh, do two, two hounds on the first air defense then drop some loons behind it, kind of spread out, two or three loons, uh, each one. And then um, as they kind of path towards and uh, through the base, then you drop the other, the last lava hound, the max lava hound on that final air defense. And when that happens, the raid is over. Look how many troops are left. So many loons. It's crazy. And the pups and... It's just total destruction. So very powerful stuff. I'm bringing you a bunch of videos here. I've got a couple more replays for you. Um, all these different attacks. These are different bases. Um, again, this works on a variety of different bases. But if you notice, a lot of these bases, the air defenses are vulnerable. And that's very nicely uh, for this air attack, um, if you do it right. So I think the big thing here, um, this is a little different strategy. He is bringing a couple Valkyries on this attack. Uh, the Valkyries are going to take down the enemy queen and that other air defense. So you can kind of play around with this base. I mean, the, the troop layout. You can play around with it, uh, figure out what's going to be best to take down a couple of those air defenses. Uh, and a lot of times, uh, you, you, if you notice, the Expos are pointed down, especially on this um, base for sure, pointed down so it's not even a big deal. You still could either bring Rage or Haste. So uh, it just depends. Mind you, you want to bring an extra Rage because because you might need it for the queen walk uh, portion. So again, look how many troops are left. He's got loons, he's got a lava hound still not even uh, broken apart. Uh, so very powerful stuff for this raid. Uh, very, very cool. So I'm just gonna keep on going, guys. Bear with me, here we go, just showing you a variety of attacks. This is the same kind of um, composition. I know a lot of people do pen uh, pentala loons, but I think this is better than pentala loon. Obviously, depending on the base. Uh, you want to go for bases using the air attacks with air defenses toward easy to access plus um, uh, expos pointed down. In this one, they're pointed up. If you notice, you use one poison on the king. Very smart there. You can save. If you use a poison on the king, you can save a rage ability for the queen. Um, a rage or her ability. So pretty smart there. And you just use the other um, poison spell for uh, the clan castle. And there you have it. Look, two air, air defenses are down. The queen is still going to town. Um, dropping in the air portion because he realizes the queen is going to encounter 
counter the enemy queen before the air attack even occurs. A little misplacement spell on the haste there, um, but still nonetheless super powerful. Again, circling the base, actually a little maybe early on that uh, second, the air defense to the north, I think a little early for the uh, last hound. I would have waited just a bit. You can be a little patient with the air portion on the first uh, when you encounter the first air defense um, and then um, drop that final uh, master pup the lava hound master big papa lava hound level four on the final air defense so anyways again just plowing through here lots of air attacks this team totally did air queen walk air attacks i mean it's crazy again a lot of different um compositions you have three rage and some you have one jump and one one broad valkyries um some are bringing more haste than others so on this attack look he didn't even let the queen do anything i mean goodness gracious the queen hardly did her work she didn't walk that long um but this compact base is just spells so much doom this is not a good base design by the way um you don't want these compact bases for the loons because everything the splash damage just causes too much mayhem um uh, at that so and he brought in the king late so again variety of different attacks here um so find the one you like the most and go with it give it a try do this queen walk for the lolly portion anyways guys thanks again for watching we'll see you next time Hello.